If you ask me, Google Photos is by far one of the best Google services. It lets you back up all your memories and that too for free, provided you are fine with taking a slight hit in the resolutions, which most of us don't mind. But you know what, that's just the tip of the iceberg. There is so much more you can do with your photos using Google Photos and in this video, I am going to talk about exactly that. This is Abhijit, you're watching Guiding Tech and let's get started. The first trick is labeling people by their name or even nicknames. And if you ask me, this is one of the best features of Google Photos. Using this feature, you can give a name to all the detected faces from the photos you have uploaded. These names can then be used to find photos of specific people from the pool of pictures you have on the cloud. And that's not all, you can also search for multiple faces or with a specific location to get the exact group pictures you're looking for. If for some reason you can't find this feature, just tap on the search bar in Google Photos and it will show you the option to add labels to all the detected faces. Moving on, the next best thing about Google Photos is that it not only backs up your pictures and videos online, but also helps you to reclaim that space from your phone's internal memory. To free up storage, tap on the menu icon on the top left and select that option. The app will then analyze your local photos against the backup on the cloud and give you the approximate space that you can gain. And then all it takes is a tap to get it done. The third trick is sharing the entire photo library or sharing snaps of a specific person automatically. Right, you can do that in Google Photos. In the settings, tap on the option that says shared libraries and select the user with whom you want to share the photos. Here, you can select if you want to share all the photos or just the photos where the person appears and save the settings. You can do the same on the phone of the other person to make it a two-way sync. Now just think about it. This means no more WhatsApping photos to each other that were taken from different phones. Cool, right? The next trick is about manually creating movies and collages and while Google Photo Assistant does surprise you from time to time with them, they might not be always up to your taste. So to take matters in your hands, simply tap on the three dot menu button next to the search box and select what you want to create. Then select the pictures, give your creation a name and that's it. Let Google do its magic and the creation will be saved to your photo gallery automatically. Now, while we are talking about albums, Let's talk about shared albums, which is the next tip. Shared albums let you have a one-stop destination for everyone to pitch in with their photos. So let's say you're in a wedding or a college get-together party. All you need to do is simply create a shared album link and share them with your relatives or friends. Yes, all group photos together in one album for everyone. Now this brings me to my next trick which is for all the privacy concerned users out there. If you are sharing photos using Google Photos, you can remove the geo tags from them automatically. To get this done, open Google Photos settings and turn on the option Remove Geolocation. This will make sure that the location info from the photos is hidden. Did you know that Google Photos has some cool emojis which you can use while searching for pictures in the app? Yes, you can search for trees, spots and even some hearts in your collection. And I hope you know that you can also search for location or dates. Yes, the search bar in Google Photos is no joke guys. You can search for photos from specific locations, dates, even face labels for that matter. The app can do wonders if you search it the right way. And that's it in this edition of Google Photos Tips and Tricks. We shall be back with more videos on this because we just can't get enough of this cool app. We'd love to hear how you use Google Photos. Add your thoughts to the comments, will you? Until next time, folks. Bye-bye.